Hi, my name is Danny Gonzalez. I'm here with David Terrain with Dan Ritsu. And today we're going to show you how to perform fiber to the antenna, mobile front haul, and mobile back haul test applications using the Anritsu MT1000 Network Master Pro. The Enritsu MT1000A Network Master Pro comes standard with an optical plug-in module verification application. The application provides a quick and easy method for network operations teams to identify the type and performance capabilities of an optical plug-in module prior to installation. The optical plug-in module verification supports SFP, SFP+, SFP28, QSFP+, QSFP28, and CFP4 optical modules. The MT1000A displays vendor information, wavelengths, rate compliance, and transmit and receive power in a single window for ease of measurement. So the next test we're going to perform is to verify the optics that are being used to communicate between the baseband unit and that of the remote radio head. These could be SFPs, SFP pluses. We're also seeing SFP 28s and QSFPs now being used. In all cases, the tests remain the same. You're going to take the SFP or the optic and you're going to insert it directly into your network tester. From here, we'll be able to verify if the optics are the correct optics so they match that of the remote radio head and the bit rate is able to be supported depending on your type of transport. To perform the pluggable optical module verification application, start from the main application screen. Choose either any Ethernet application or mobile x hall application depending on where the optical module will be used. If this is for a mobile front haul application, I recommend the Cipri slash Opsibert applications up to 10 gigabits per second. If this is for a mobile backhaul or Ethernet application up to 100 gigabits per second, I recommend Ethernet RFC 2544 application. Both applications would work for any SFP or SFP+. Next, choose any of the optical ports labeled number one and press accept. This will enable the Enritsu MT1000A tester to utilize any of the test ports labeled number one, depending on the pluggable optical module you are testing. Once the application launches, starting from the setup window, in the port tab, choose the type of optical transceiver you are testing from the quick access menu of optics. All types of supported optics are included in the list. Click on the optical transceiver you are inserting into the tester, a Confirm Dependencies pop-up window will appear describing the changes the tester selected based on the optics you choose. Simply press OK. Once you've selected your optical transceiver, press the transceiver button located in the bottom right-hand corner of the GUI in the setup window. The Enritsu MT1000A reads the optical transmit and received power of the optical transceiver and displays wavelengths and supported bitrate. Select the drop-down menu to view the compliance and vendor information of the optical transceiver. Once you've verified the performance and capabilities of the pluggable optical transceiver, you can capture the information in a screenshot for further analysis or reporting by pressing the power button once from the front panel of the instrument. Thank you for watching the video. If you would like more information on any of the Anritsu products, including the Network Master Pro, please visit www.anritsu.com.